What's going on my LEGO lovers, my Marvel Avengers? This game takes place in its own story. It's basing around all of the certain films from the Marvel franchise. This has nothing to do with the superheroes. So the, the game takes players through many of the uh, memorable moments we've seen from both Avenger films, Marvel Captain America the First Avenger, Iron Man 3, Thor the Dark World, and Captain America the Winter Soldier. So, here is everything. The entire formula makes for yet another wonderful experience. No matter the world you are battling through, for yet another wonderful time you're going to have. There's so much storytelling you are reliving from the film. LEGO Marvel's Avengers delivers much in the same way as its predecessor did with entertaining and intelligent gameplay, excellent humor, and the rich environments. You're going to have a lot of fun with this story. You're going to notice a lot of the same things you've seen in the film, but they're going to cheese it up because of the kids, and also it's going to be fun to watch the actual voice actors from the movies take part in some of the scenes in the cutscenes of this game. So, everything in a nutshell... That's the story. Let's get into the gameplay of what I think of LEGO Marvel Avengers for the PlayStation 4. LEGO Hulk Smash. There's so many things to do in this game. Gameplay related. Free open worlds, hub worlds, you name it. Everything is in this game. Each superhero has dozens and dozens of characters character models and there's also so many characters to unlock and to play as and it's really quite impressive i mean okay think about it list once you see it for yourself you're gonna be like wow there's over 150 characters and dlc so the gameplay wouldn't be a bit repetitive if it weren't for the many characters you can play as and side content each hero has base attacks along with the ability to perform a combination type attack so the combination types of attacks are real fun each character can jump and help one another and do a move together in order to defeat a certain enemy and if the game was just starting a handful of characters this would be a serious problem however this isn't an issue due to the quarantine of the unique characters you can play as throughout the experience and each experience and each cutscene you'll play as a different character from Thor to Agent Williams to Iron Man and countless others gameplay combat is a variety are excellent because of the amazing amount of characters you can play as each character has a set amount of moves different abilities different transformations even suit ups for Iron Man Iron Man aka Tony Stark has a uh, a suit up wheel as you unlock and progress through the story mode you are able to unlock these suits and you could actually use these suits to suit up like in the films it's real cool and real geeky and as I mentioned gameplay is variety up because of the diversity and different characters but not only that the gameplay is so many different locations and design of each mission it being brings the gameplay to a different theme to the mission and level design that remain the same throughout the game the sum of the game's ingredients is great enough to keep you coming back more and more, which is something the first game did brilliantly, and as well as the second game. Okay, veterans of the LEGO games will enjoy the returning theme of puzzle-based levels coupled with combat and exploration. So, the game does a fine job of rewarding players for taking the extra time to smash all the objects within a given environment for currency and you'll be doing a lot of lego collecting so if you're a scavenger you'll be doing a lot of it and you should make sure you take the time to do it because sometimes finding collectibles or new characters that might not otherwise be found throughout the course of the story also there's backtracking in this game as for the gameplay there are some scenes when you're playing the story mode and you're trying to progress you see these different um kind of like steel or gold bricks that have to be completed from a different character so for example there's a gold brick that iron man can only melt from himself there's also a latch where hulk has to do it himself just like in superheroes there's different things you're gonna have to go back to so that's something real cool and something I really enjoyed um, you get to backtrack as well uh, given the environments and everything the gameplay is amazing gamers can venture off into seven different environments in Lego Marvel's Avengers each is true to the spirit of their 
actual locations. So in these films, you'll see all these different locations, but in the LEGO games, you'll see the ingredients that they mix with the locations. An environment that was a personal favorite had to be Asgard. I mean, wow. Which did a fine job of capturing the world where you've already seen in past Marvel films. Though it's a bit smaller than you might like. Even the farm of Hawkeye. Speaking of past films, it was an absolute joy to play through some of the most iconic moments we've seen from Marvel movies. And nearly every cinematic I saw was nice Lego touches that made me laugh on many different occasions. I mean, even when you see Bruce Banner hulk out for the first time in that one scene when he says, that's my secret cap, I'm always angry, you see the Hulk taking selfies. And I did a live stream about that and I got some questions like, why is Hulk taking selfies? Well, it's a kid-friendly game, so they had to mix it up with, you know, a little comedy. TT Games has a done of marvelous job of adding quite a lot of humor and it really does fit very well. The humor in any game can be difficult and illustrate, however, TT Games has done fantastic work to provide an entertaining experience and hilarious humor to many of the iconic moments we've seen from past Marvel films, and that's something I really enjoyed. Alright, so, humor in this game makes it better and adds the essential lightheartedness that we expect from LEGO games, besides, who doesn't enjoy sipping on a milkshake while you're Nick Fury? I mean, okay, the game... Bugs have mostly been ironed out except for a few instances where a character was momentarily stuck in a crevice and a slight frame rate drop here or there. That's the only complaint and also uh, there are some occasions where you have to figure out where to go and they don't tell you exactly what to do and you're exactly, you're extremely confused. Um, I did this on my live streams. I've done three playthroughs already, and I was so confused until I finally figured out what to do. None of these things really impacted my experience with this game. However, there was one game-breaking bug I encountered during the one of the Captain America flashbacks. But that being said, the gameplay is a lot of fun, and I really had a lot of fun with it. Let's get into the graphics. Well, the graphics, I have a lot to say about them, and I'm going to make it real quick because I have no complaints at all. No frame rate drops, nothing. I mean, you have such rich environments in this game, and they're so cartoony, it makes you feel like you're watching an actual Lego Marvel TV show or an animated movie. That's how good these cutscenes are, and TT Games did a really fantastic job with the graphics and the cutscenes as well. Also, I like the environments, I love the sub-hub worlds, and I love New York City, how it's all combined and it looks so realistic. I even like how the Statue of Liberty still winks when you pass it. Uh, so much detail and so vibrant colors that I've seen throughout this uh, game. And Asgard, one of the most beautiful levels I've ever seen. Going into Asgard, yes it's small, but it takes you back to the film days where you've seen them in Thor. Uh, and also Thor the Dark World. Um, Asgard is so beautifully well colored, it's amazing. Uh, New York is very well crafted. I like how it looks like New York. I love the farm where you go into Hawkeye's little farm area. It's so much fun. Uh, just the cutscenes, the gameplay, even the gameplay scenes are very well done. And as you can see here, Hulk is running and the fire and everything is done perfectly. I love how these graphics are done and I have really no complaints in the graphics department at all. Well, my final verdict in this game, and what I have to give it is, the quantity and quality of gameplay experiences in LEGO Marvel Avengers is staggering, but it's a game that you will have an extremely hard time walking away from. I had such a fun time playing this. There's so much for gamers to enjoy, just like there was in the first game, and it's an evidence how a developer can continue to improve a series by taking the time to flesh it out without feeling obligated to hit a yearly launch pattern. I thought it was going to suck to be honest with you because it was kind of rushed, but LEGO Marvel's Avengers provides a game that I will not be walking away from from anytime soon. The transformations, the cutscenes, the open world, the hub worlds. Discover You get a discover and experience even after the main campaign has been completed. It's a game any Marvel LEGO or gaming fan will thoroughly enjoy. 
my pros, excellent humor, rich environments, entertaining gameplay, the cons, some dreadful voice acting, and uh, you being confused on not, what, not knowing what the hell to do. I give this game a solid 8.5. It deserves that 8.5 because it's still a great game. I highly recommend it for any LEGO or Marvel fan. 8.5 Critical Redemption now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys. Talk to you guys soon. Happy gaming. Take care.